Hi, my name is Vikas Singh from Origin. Today's video, I will discuss about Microsoft Remote Desktop Services in detail, like how the RDS look like in real infra, how to access and play around Remote Desktop Services console. But our main motive to create this video to understand which type of Remote Desktop Services suits better as per your requirement because there are multiple type of solutions in remote desktop uh, services current days so also if you have any query related to this you can contact us our contact details are given in below description if you need our highly technical team to setting up microsoft demo desktop services for you you can go ahead and contact us so here we go Microsoft Remote Desktop Services. So there are two types of main deployment in Microsoft uh, RDS services. The first one is session host deployment and second is VDI based deployment. The session host based deployment is basically traditional remote desktop services and the session host uh, based deployment is basically recommended to run a business application mostly like you are running some web based application or you are running a call center application or, or you are running a, some departmental application which is basically installed on your session host server. So uh, in session host deployments users log into their machines then they need to log in into RDS web page after they are logged into RDS uh, web page they can launch the application but here's the here's the thing users feel that the application is installed on their machines because the, uh, the application is running on that machine but but in a backend the application is running on a session host server and user get the access to a session host server by creating a one session there and the application is running on session host server itself where it it has been installed so on other hand vdi based deployment is a basically a replacement for users dedicated physical machine with their own dedicated virtual machine so which virtual machine is basically running on a Hyper-V host and a Hyper-V host is communicating with connection broker and remote desktop services. So in a VDI based deployments users logged into their thin client machines. Once they log into thin client machine they directly communicate with RDS servers and user got the de their dedicated mach machine screens virtual machine screen when they are logged into RDS servers. So and this allow users to feel they are using a powerful physical machine because the virtual machine is running on server class hardware. So in a Microsoft Remote Desktop Services, there are five main components in our core architect of Remote Desktop Services. The first one is a remote RD virtualization host, which allows us to create and deploy the VDI solutions in a remote desktop services infrastructure and it's allowed to create and run virtual machine on a Hyper-V host. So RD virtualization host is a basically Hyper-V host which allow us to create and run a virtual machine on it. And the second one is RD session host which provides multi session for users. So basically RD session host is a server where we have installed a session host role and then the users can log into their remote desktop and application and they can launch the application which is installed on session host servers. And the third main component is a connection broker which allow, manage, uh, allow us to manage the redirection and application publishing from the RDS console and allow all the type of uh, administration for RDS services like creating collection, modifying collection and uh, doing some other stuff related to remote desktop services in a Microsoft scenario. So and the fourth component is RD web access which provide web based interface for remote application and session based deployment. So uh, here we here we need to provide a one interface for user where user can log in and launch their application which is installed on session host servers and or uh, they can launch a remote desktop. So this is the interface where you are uh, users are going to log in. And the RD gateway, which provide HTTP based secure access for users, which is uh, uh, which is accessing the resource for uh, of our remote desktop services from outside of the organization, such as a public network or internet, anything. Now move to live environment where we have created two infrastructure here on a uh, for demo: one for session host infra and one for VDI infra. On a session host info, you can see this is my RDS SH01, which is basically we have created for session host. If I go and click on remote desktop services, you can see we have two options here uh, getting two options 
create new session collection and rd add rd session host server means we have deployed this server this infrastructure as a session based desktop deployment and if you go here on vdi server if you go to remote desktop you can see it's showing virtual machine based deployment so we have two types of deployment here and we have on a session host server we have installer web access role connection broker and session host server same if you want to verify on vdi if i go here overview you can see we have installed web access connection broker and rd virtualization host which is given in our first screen here so we have done the installation as per the standard and if you go on session host server you can see we have created one collection also so if you if you click here you can see we are getting button to create a new session collection as we have already created rd session host we can see here three application as published here and if you want to publish unpublish application you can go ahead and modify the settings anytime so let's log in from client machine and launch the application on a session host server so you can see it's opening the path because I have set the home path and internet to launch my RD web page access so here we are put the credential to login horizon and password for user 01 now you can see we we have three applications published here and if you want to launch any application we can go ahead and click on application so now you can see remote app is launched and click on connect and it will take some time to launch the application because in back end it's creating session on our uh, session host server if you go on users you can see for now we don't we have only one session which is running on session host server but soon this machine will create one remote session on session host server so it's still starting so now you can see the calculator is launched and if I go and launch the paint and now you can see it's not taking time to launch the application because we have created one session session host server if you want to verify now you can verify like we have launched these application on users machine but it's running on us our session host server so this is the way how the application is running on session host deployment so let's close this all application and now if you go here you can see all the application is closed and now if I logged in from here you can see the application session is disconnected so this is the how the session host server work in a RDS environment and now let's move to VDI infrastructure and if you see we have created one collection also for VDI and we we have a two size limit of two means we have created two virtual machine and this VDI infrastructure and both the machine is assigned to dedicated user like user 01 and user 02 and the connection is active so now we can go ahead and launch the things on a thin client so this is basically a thin client machine in my VDI infrastructure so if you see I have installed Windows embedded in standard machine operating system and assigned 8 1 GB RAM and if you see here as this is a thin client this is taking around 3 GB space only in a disk to install a embedded operating system and now if I go on like we have a both option if I go to remote desktop see and I put the RDS hyphen VDI 01 and enter then if I put the credential for user 01 then it will redirect my connection for the uh, VM 01 and this is the one option and we have a second option also if I go here and login through the web page then we'll see how it's work so this is giving the certificate now login to by second account 
which is 0 2 user 0 2 and launch here click on connect and put the credential like user 0 2 and password for that account and if I go on first virtual machine you can see this is taking the RDP of my that virtual physical host so in both case you can see here and now if you see here we are connected with a same machine name RDS hyphen VDI 01 but this is getting giving us the virtual machine which is 02 because we have logged in via proper thin uh, proper this web page URL and if we go so we need to go and log in via thin client devices if if you do RDP by the user ma uh, this server name then you are not going to logged in via thin client machine only so this is the way so let's log off from user 01 here and we'll try to log in fair from for page and now we will get the access to virtual machine 01 so try from here user 01 What is my purpose to give, giving you the direct showing the ri direct access to RDS hyphen VDI 01? So if we are going to direct uh, do RDP, then it's taking us to our uh, server itself. And if we are doing with from this like web page, then it's taking to correct VDI. So here you can see and. user 01 is assigned with machine 02 and same you can check here user 02 is assigned with VDI 02 so here it is you can see the things so this is the how the VDI and session host environment run in uh, infrastructure and in real environment so Thank you for watching hope this will help you in choosing the best RDS solution as per your requirement and if you need our help in setting up Microsoft remote desktop services for you please contact us our contact details are on a screen and thank you once again bye bye.